you're a lyrics person probably yeah yeah yeah, definitely for sure so like if you're more if i can hear it sometimes they're incomprehensible and i'll be like yeah i miss the rage like eh, like." (laughs) so many people listen to music differently i think they'll lean into either lyrics or instrumental honestly it changes like depending on who i'm listening to i'm listening either for lyrics like there's some really good rappers it's pure like storytelling Okay. I really like that. And it's all in the lyrics. But then you'll listen to Playboy Cardi, Lil Uzi Vert, and you can like just get it. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I just want to rock. In his actual lyrics, he's not saying much. He's like, that's my house. I'm not being a six foot town. <laughs> like, he's just kind of saying stuff. Yeah. But it sounds awesome. And like the way he delivers it is great. It's not really about the lyrics too much. I mean, unless you identify with, that's my house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some people do, you know. Yeah, they're straight. like, that is my house. My house is, in fact, the moon. <laughs> and I related to this. <laughs> I didn't even know that those were the lyrics. Yeah. I never listened <laughs> exactly, to the lyrics. Exactly, exactly. Stand on my money at six foot tall. Okay, that's kind of cool. Stand on my money. Like, six foot tall. Because I think IRL, he's like slightly shorter. I mean, he's like, stand on my money, I'm six he's like foot five, tall. He's like 5'4", five, 5'3". Five, he's like Kevin Hart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, actually, that line's pretty good. But in general, like, people aren't really like noticing the lyrics in that song. They're just like, dude, this is awesome. Like, blah, blah. <laughs> But th- I feel like that's kind of the case for, like, um, concerts, too. Like, I feel yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. It's for the vibes. Uzi, yeah. But I've always been more of um, a melody, sort of background, instrumental type person. Mm-hmm. So for me, like, it was easy for me to get over that I don't identify with the person singing. I listen to the voice as, like, another instrument, almost. Oh, okay, so yeah, that's a good way to put it. So it's just kind of, like, I don't really pick up on everything it's saying. Like, I don't pick up on every drum or every, you know, right. you know and, and different music will appear, appeal to different demographics, so I think it's okay if we're not the target demographic of female rap. Yeah. Um, but it's always good to, I guess, keep your mind open, and maybe you'll appreciate it. I, I don't know about you, but, like... I've been diversifying my music taste recently, mm-hmm. so I was getting into I was into jazz for a little while, hey. especially especially from. I am a jazz musician, you know. Are you actually? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, clarinet, right? Clarinet, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not that song. That's trademark. <laughs> but it's, but I mean, you could cover it, make it your own. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I, I probably I, did. I was really into jazz, not like American jazz, like Brazilian jazz, Japanese jazz. Mm, cool. And I've also especially like within the past year or two, mm-hmm. been really get into getting into K-pop. K-pop? That has been like a K-pop. guilty pleasure of mine for some reason. Oh, like, yeah. I just can't. And it's funny because the first podcast you're dissing on it. I was shitting it, on it. I know. And I now, sure. but you do like it. You're shitting on, sometimes it's easy to shit on stuff you actually like. Yeah. Right? Like, I kind of like Drake, but I shit on him all the time. Right, right. It's not the same. same. And it's the same with, like, shitting on something that's popular. It's like, it's popular because everyone kind of likes it. Yeah. But it's just like fun to, to shit on it because you know of it.